Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to walk you through five essential workouts that will help you stay in the game as a runner, especially as you age. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Susie and this is I Run Things. In this channel, I talk a lot about my training, what races I'm doing, running as an over 40 year old runner who discovered running late in life. I started running when I was 43. I know, kind of late. But now, five years later, as I am almost 49, I can tell you I am much faster than I was five years ago. And I can attribute this largely to being consistent. That's number one reason why I'm faster because I kept running and I became more efficient as a runner. But also I included these five types of workouts pretty often. If you want to learn more about being a runner, starting to run when you're over 40, how to do it, I put together a seminar for Get Organized HQ they invited me over to be one of their presenters at their virtual conference that they organized every year. I felt really honored to be a speaker on this conference because there's many other people I admire who actually presented last year at last year's conference. So I was like over the moon to be afforded the opportunity to do this and prepare a seminar for the Get Organized HQ audience. So thank you for having me over. Now, if you click on that link, you're gonna get free access to everything as the conference goes live. Once the conference is over, you can buy an all access pass and you can do so through the affiliate link that I will post in the info box below. Now, I attended the Get Organized HQ virtual event last year and I absolutely loved it. So I hope you enjoy my seminar. If you do decide to attend again, the conference starts on September 12th and ends September 16th. And if you click on that link, you will be able to get your invite to the free live event. And now without further ado, let's talk about the five kinds of workouts that I have done as a runner that have made me a faster runner. Number one workout that I think it should be a stable for every runner. This is really important to get our legs to turn over faster and to gain better form. Now, this type of workout is the two minutes on, one minute off workout. I used to do this a lot at the beginning of my running career, like right after I trained for my first half marathon. And I became a much faster runner in that half marathon distance. And the reason for that is that my form was not very good, in my opinion. I don't think it's like perfect by any means whatsoever right now. But back then it was not as good as it is not now. And I hope to continue improving. But this workout, two minutes on, two minutes off, really helped me like sprint during those two minutes and really gain, first of all, confidence. And second of all, when you're running fast, you really can't think a lot about how you're moving through space. So again, it just makes your form be more efficient um, as you gain speed on your legs. It helps with the turnover and it helps with your stride length as well. So definitely a staple for every runner. You can do them around a track. I would recommend if you um, can do them in like a straight, like a straight line, that is even better than if you do them on a track, in my opinion. Just make sure there's no traffic around. You don't have to stop for people walking the street or to give way to let a car uh, pass you by or anything like that. Just be safe in a place where you can continue running for two minutes without stopping as fast as you can. The second type of a workout that I think is very, very valuable, especially for older runners, this is to improve your stamina, which in turn will help you get faster as well. If you have more stamina, you're gonna become a faster runner, is the long run. I always recommend, even in the off season, that you have one day that you dedicate to just a longer run, longer than any other of your runs. So if you usually go out and run three miles, plan on having maybe over the weekend that you have more time, maybe run six miles, seven miles, eight miles. If you can make those long runs be two digits, 10 miles and upwards, 
that would be ideal. But even if it's just six, seven, eight miles, a distance that's longer than your regular runs during the week, this is going to help you a lot develop again that stamina, that resiliency. You don't need really to make these runs happen super, super fast. You need to be steady. You need to be able to make them in a natural rhythm. You could even make these runs happen with the run walk method, the Wild Galloway method. I have a bunch of videos actually on the Galloway method, but you could even do it like that, but just make it distance, make it time on your feet. That's going to make your bones stronger, but just going to gain stamina and gain efficiency and I have a third one and this is going to come as a surprise for many 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 of you I know this is the one I call the trotting run this is the run in which you just go out for fun you don't have a distance in mind typically they're shorter you just do them to maybe think about stuff that's going on at work or with your family to maybe solutioning problems whatever it is you do that run for your mental health this is going to make you a better runner because this is going to make you really enjoy your runs. So I think this is a, this should be a staple in any training plan. Just those runs that are easy, you're at a very leisurely pace. I think a lot of us, we get really consumed with trying becoming faster and we forget that running really should be an outlet should be a lifelong activity. I think this also has the benefit of adding miles to your legs, which is also important when you're trying to become a faster runner. But the main purpose of this run is just to keep your love for running alive. Number four, this is another one that might come as a surprise, but I think it's an essential part of running. It's strides. When you are running maybe three miles in one of your shorter runs, make sure you add 20 second bursts towards the end of your run. These strides are going to help you again with your form. They keep you running faster, especially towards the end when you are maybe more tired, you make that final effort. And also again, they just make you a more efficient runner. So don't forget to add strides on your runs, especially as you're approaching your race. I always do strides, even if they are not prescribed on my training plan, I always do them the day before a race. So that last run before my race, I include strides at the end of that specific run. They always actually put me in a really good mood <laughs> because I don't know, the oxygen comes through your lungs and it just makes you feel alive and fast and it's a little bit like going back to your childhood. So yeah, I love doing them. And then workout number five is actually a workout that I don't do too often and I always wonder why and I really think I should include them more often during my training. It's the pyramid workout. You can either vary the speed, do a pyramid in which you're going faster progressively and then slower progressively or maybe you do intervals so you do maybe 200 meters 400 meters 600 meters 800 one kilometer and then decline again with like periods of rest in between and you can even do those intervals um, at different speeds as well or just keep the same speed but i think those are very important to control your mind in the sense that they make you stay really really focused so some of the other workouts that I've talked about are more done at a leisurely pace and they are more so that you can enjoy your running. But I think the pyramid workout requires a lot of control with your speed and it requires a lot of focus. And I think mental focus is really important when you're trying to get faster because a race, sometimes we can't get ahead of ourselves. We have to start at a certain pace to be able to meet our goals so we can't start too fast usually we have to rein ourselves back a little bit and then push towards the end so i think with the pyramid workout that's what you really gain off of it it's not only the speed it's also the mental focus that sharpness you need for any race if you're trying to become a faster runner 
Okay guys, and these are my five workouts that I have for you. Which other ones would you include? Leave a comment below and let us know. Share that with the rest of the community here. If you're new to the channel, I hope you will consider subscribing and give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends if you think they would benefit from watching this content. Run fiercely guys.